Hi guys, uh, in this session of Trader Stock, we have with us Mr. Himanshu, the chartist, the chart, uh, chartitude. On uh, Twitter, ke upar, I have seen him posting a lot of wonderful stuff and then I requested Samco Securities to uh, guide me how I can bring Himanshu on for my podcast. And today, the topic we are going to discuss with you guys is that we can execute a less risky trade in which we can execute a less risky trade where our stop loss is small but our reward is big. And for that, uh, Himanshu, welcome to the show. Thank you very much, sir. Thanks a lot. So, how are, what are we going to learn today? That is the first question. So, basically, uh, trading is all about risk and reward relationship. So, we'll be learning on how to take least risk entries so that our stop loss is very close. We are very close to the danger point where we can build a good position size. So, the whole idea of this session is to have a good position size with least risk so that the position, if it goes in our favor, then we can compound in minimum time. Okay. Let's start. Okay. So uh, that's the topic, sir. Least risk entry, how to buy a stock at the right time. Basically, I believe that there is a right time to buy a stock. So this is just about me. I did my BTEC from DTU. I worked with Ministry of Urban Development and CFT, MSTA, all this I did in the field of technical analysis. And you can find me on Twitter with this handle, as you have mentioned. So uh, this is a brief intro of TA so that any beginner can understand basically we don't we are not here forecasting something for 10 years down the line or 15 years down the line that is highly pre unpredictable and the longer is the period of forecast the accuracy will be very less. So it, what is it? It is just a study of price and volume action. So whenever you do a transaction there are three pieces of raw information that you receive. One is the price, one is the volume and one is the time of the transaction. So TA is nothing but study of price volume action and the aim of a technical analyst is to identify trend reversal at the earliest and ride it till it, till it reverses. Now, uh, trend of interest for an investor will be visible on weekly charts. But for a swing trader, he will be interesting in those short term swings between those pullbacks. So these all explain these all terms I will explain in a moment. Now, keywords are like trend identification, which will define your which stock to select and where to enter. Because if you are entering a trend very late, you can uh, miss out that major chunk of the initial move. And your position size will also be a very, very lesser on, on, on a very lesser side because you are entering a trend very late and your stop loss point will be deep enough, right? So now riding the trend that defines your how will you trail your position. For example, uh, an investor will not be interested in daily swings. So what will he do is that, okay, I am buying a stock of, let's say, whenever the trend will be intact. Now, trend can be intact for one and a half years. It can be intact for two years. So if, uh, if an investor says that I am interested in only the longer time, time frame, then there is no use of following the trailing rules on a daily chart. Similarly, for a trader, shorter time frames are of interest. So it's nothing that one thing works, another doesn't both works equally well you have to identify your own personality now trend reversal is where exit mechanism will come into play and then we have charles dow who is the founding father of modern ta and uh, you you have heard this us index dow jones industrial average in his name charles dow and yeah. edward jones so uh, this is your primary trend one basic theme that you will find common in traders and investors is that they will always play in the direction of the trend unless you are uh, shorting in those pullbacks uh, both of them will be like in a similarity they will be trading a primary uptrend so uh, both of them are interested in making money in their long position and that is easily uh, possible when you are playing in stocks that are already in an uptrend now, primary uptrend is something that is visible on weekly or monthly charts. It's similar to like when, uh, let's say you are 
sitting in an airplane and you are seeing the ocean surface from the top so that's primary trend you are interested in tides so you will not be able to see those ripples on the surface when you throw a stone in the river so you are only interested in that primary uptrend so for investors that is of supreme importance and you have to avoid the stocks that are in a downtrend because what happens when the stock is in a downtrend you are losing your time and you are also losing your capital as well so uh, this is the simple definition of primary uptrend where the stock is in a higher highs and it's forming higher lows and opposite of it is a downtrend. So both are equally visible on weekly or monthly long term charts. So we are only interested. I mean, I am personally only trading the stocks that are in an uptrend. So what happens is that now this is the full journey of a chart. What will you see here that uh, this stock was already in a downtrend and then it started forming a base so it went into sideways movement and then you will see uh, once the stock picks up trend it changes the trend so from downtrend to sideways to uptrend this is the journey of a uh, stock now here i am personally interested only in this phase i am not interested in sideways i am not interested in downwind now uh, many people do that bottom fishing near this zone but i don't personally do that now once a stock reverses the trend here will be your uh, reversal buy because reversal buy means that the stock is now reversing the trend and in middle you will get that pullback so these are all pullbacks that you will constantly get because nothing goes up vertically uh, basically iska reason ye hai that uh, uh, whenever some uh, whenever i mean this market has a lot of participants so not all are investors so as they make 20 30 percent gain they start selling so that's why you get these smaller pullbacks in between now after the stock has already reversed that means now it is in a premature uptrend now it again pulls back and moves up so this is some sort of a continuation buy continuation buy is that when the stock is already in an uptrend now so that's a very uh, you can say first stage of continuation buy then you get a pullback then again a continuation buy then again a continuation buy and unless the trend reverses and the cycle repeats so i am only interested in those charts where you have a continuation buy now now uh, uh, this is like my uh, uh, finding on the charts that as your entry zone and risk level so if you are doing that bottom fishing that i explained to you that some people you know they try to catch the every bottom like they will think that okay this is the low this is the low and they keep started i mean they keep on doing that so bottom fishing is the risk level is high i am not saying that it's not being taught in ta in ta we wait for price to bottom out volume to spike up but your risk level is very high because stock is sitting there for a reason so now once you go for reversal buy your risk level will decrease pull back because the stock has already broken out and now pulling back your risk further diminishes now once you take a continuation buy that's where i'm interested here the stock has proven itself you miss out certain portion of the move but you are now getting in at much comparatively lesser risk so your probability of winning becomes very high and as you go in the late stages then also your risk level starts increasing because here the stock might be possible that whatever earnings it had to report it has now already absorbed in the price and now we are heading very close to the top so we are very close to the trend reversal stage so that is why your risk keeps on increasing as and late and late you get over there so that's why exit rules are so uh, this is where i am interested in continuation buy stock is in a mature uptrend it forms a series of higher highs and higher lows and I'm trying to buy as it breaks out from a continuation base. So that's where my 99% of trades are. The stocks are already in an uptrend and they are now consolidating on the right hand side. So uh, if you will see the example of, uh, for example, Lupin here. Now, it the stock was already in an uptrend. It was already in an uptrend and your for, for your information now this line is 21 days moving average. This is 50 days and this is 200 days. So uptrend anything above that 200 days moving average is in an uptrend. So this 200 MA was also sloping up. Now this is a very longer base. So I am preferring those longer base breakouts. So as this stock moves up and it forms a very good base, 
now what am i looking for in a chart is that right hand side consolidation so if this uh, you see that area for example the stock broke out and then it came back up again as i told you that pullback so it broke out and then we have a pullback near that 21 ma now it consolidated so what do i mean by this consolidation is that if you just look at the range of this chart that just 5% 4 and 4.7% so roughly around 5% so even if you like do the maths like if it comes out of this consolidation area and if i place my entry here so i can have a stop loss which is roughly around 5% away so what happens here is that now let's say i want to risk 1% of my capital so i can build on a position size of even 20% how do i do this maths is that for example let's say now that's a very shortcut formula you can calculate your position size by 100 divided by stop loss percent for 1% risk so let's say your stop loss is 5% deep your position size will be 20% if your stop loss is 10% deep your position size will be 10% so that you will lose 1% of your capital now uh, uh, that's Anshu. why Yes, I, yes, I I have to stop you here because yes. um, एक तो जो आपने मुझे पिछली स्लाइड दिखाई है ना the risk one that I want Correct. to uh, that I want to see once again the risk this level one. and entries the risk level yes. and entries one because जितने yes. भी मेरे viewers हैं I want them to understand this thing very properly because uh, because uh, Himanshu rest assured this is one graph that I will be using a lot because somewhere I understand this but I've never been able to put it um, up in this 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 graph type of form. Okay, uh, as you can see here, what you are saying is that those who are bottom fishing, for them, the most risk is in the market. Ke correct, correct. Then there are those who, when the market goes down, they try to buy from there. 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 They try to हाँ और जो लोग पुल बैक के ऊपर बाय कर रहे हैं विच मीन्स आइदर दे आर यूजिंग ट्वेंटी फिफ्टी थर्टी नाइन वट एवर मूविंग एवरेज इट डजेंट मीन कि जैसे ही उस मूविंग एवरेज को वो टच करेगा यू आर गोइंग टू बाय इट देन ऑल्सो देर इज अ रिस्क बिकॉज इवेंचुअली इट कैन गो फर्दर डाउन दैट देन डैट लेवल और हो सकता है कि पुल बैक ले ही ना वहां पे और नीचे चला जाए करेक्ट वी हैव सीन एन डाउन टाइप ऑफ थिंग्स जहां पे मार्केट ऊपर जाती है और सीधा एन बना के नीचे को आ जाती है उल्टा वी बना के hmm. So what you are particularly suggesting is कि जब भी एक breakout होता है breakout के बाद छोटी छोटी consolidations होती हैं जहाँ पे because breakout होने के बाद price नीचे नहीं आ रहा और consolidation कर रहा है that is the point जहाँ पे breakout buy करना is the best thing because there is an existing breakout there is an existing trend and now the consolidation उसको आप buy करना सबसे ज़्यादा prefer करते हैं Correct, sir. And also one uh, thing is that in pullback, uh, a lot of people think when the price is coming down, we buy. So we always buy in the direction of the trend. That's what like I covered in this slide. Trend is your friend. So what happens yeah. is that pullback me, jab stock touch karke upper ki taraf ja raha hai, then we are placing our orders so that we are sure that this is a pullback buy. and continuation is one area for example after that pull back when i got again a pull back and then the stock forms a base and breaks out now that's a continuation by jahan par risk isliye kam hai because stock ab ka ab trend clear ho raha hai because hota kya hai then in on this pull back every will everyone will come and they say oh it it was like a dead cat bounce bas ek decline hua tha uske baad ek bounce hai but pull back ke baad when the stock proves itself and it again forms a base that means you are sure enough that buyers are interested here volume spike hoga yahan par so that is why i said that risk is less here hmm. okay and dusri cheez hai jo aapne रिस्क बताया कि मैं वन परसेंट रिस्क रखना है तो मैं इतनी पोजीशन साइजिंग रखूंगा वट डेट इवेंचुअली मीन्स इज कि अगर मेरा रिस्क जो है पर ट्रेड के ऊपर मैं टेन थाउजेंड लेना चाहता हूं और मेरा स्टॉप लॉस जो है वो फिफ्टी पॉइंट्स का आ रहा है देन टेन थाउजेंड रुपीज को मुझे फिफ्टी से डिवाइड करना है टू हंड्रेड क्वान्टिटी मुझे ट्रेड करनी है सो वट है आपकी कैपिटल टेन लैख की है अज्यूम कर लेते हैं Now you say मुझे वन परसेंट रिस्क लेना है मीन्स यू आर विलिंग टू लूज टेन थाउजेंड रुपीज अब स्टॉक का बाय प्राइस फॉर इंस्टेंस हम मान लेते हैं टू हंड्रेड रुपीज है 
एंड बाय प्राइस एंड स्टॉप लॉस आप बोलते हैं मुझे 190 पर रखना है इसका विच इज फाइव परसेंट अवे इसका मतलब क्या हुआ इसका मतलब ये हुआ कि आपका टेन रुपीज का रिस्क है पर शेयर पर यस yes. तो टेन रुपीज का रिस्क अगर पर शेयर पर है और आप बोलते हैं कि मुझे टेन थाउजेंड ही लूज करना है तो टेन थाउजेंड डिवाइड बाई टेन यानी कि आपके वन थाउजेंड शेयर ही आप खरीद सकते हैं एग्जैक्टली exactly. अब ये 1000 शेयर्स की जो वैल्यू होगी बाय वैल्यू वो 200 से मल्टीप्लाई करके यानी 2 लाख रुपए ही आप इन्वेस्ट कर सकते हैं स्टॉक में तो आपका 1 परसेंट रिस्क है अब करेक्ट तो अब इसमें क्या हो रहा है अब इसी को मैंने आपको एक शॉर्टकट बना के दे दिया कि आप इतना कैलकुलेशन uh, मत करिए आप 100 डिवाइडेड बाय स्टॉप लॉस परसेंट ये फॉर्मूला याद रखिए आप घूम फिर के वैसे ही आएंगे यहां पर क्योंकि आपका स्टॉप लॉस अगर 5 परसेंट डीप है तो आप यहां से भी कैलकुलेट कर सकते हैं आपकी पोजीशन साइज मैक्सिमम परमिसिबल 10 परसेंट बनती है 20 परसेंट हंड्रेड डिवाइडेड बाय 5 अगर आपका स्टॉप लॉस 8 है तो ट्वेल्व एंड हाफ बनती है तो वही चीज आप लॉन्ग कैलकुलेशन से करेंगे तो भी आप यहीं पे आएंगे ओके okay. तो अब इसमें गेम क्या है कि वन कैपिटल रिस्क पे लगाकर मेरी 20 परसेंट पोजिशन साइज बनती है <coughs> तो अगर मैं 20 परसेंट मान लीजिए नहीं लेना चाहता मैं चाहता हूं मैं हाफ ही रिस्क लू तो मैं पोजिशन साइज हाफ कर दूंगा देन मैं 10 टेन परसेंट ही लूंगा उस केस में तो मेरा कहने का ये मतलब है कि आपका एक तो एंट्री इस पॉइंट पे हुआ जहां पर आपका बेस लो स्टॉप बहुत पास है अब बेस लो स्टॉप 5 परसेंट डीप का मतलब है कि मैं 20 परसेंट रिस्क अगर लेता हूं तो मेरा 1 परसेंट कैपिटल वाइप ऑफ हो जाएगा अगर ये स्टॉक वापस आ गया तो लेकिन मैं अगर कंफर्टेबल नहीं हूं तो 10 परसेंट इज ऑल्सो अ वेरी गुड साइज देन आई कैन एंटर माय पोजीशन विद 10 परसेंट पोजिशन साइज क्योंकि मैं बहुत पास हूं स्टॉप लॉस के अगर मैं मान लीजिए अपनी एंट्री को इस पॉइंट पे कहीं लेता हूं ब्रेकआउट के बाद तो इस केस में मेरा स्टॉप लॉस ऑलरेडी बहुत डीप है जो कि 12 परसेंट है तो मेरी पोजीशन साइज उतनी बड़ी नहीं बनेगी अब दोनों मेथड्स में क्या हो रहा है एक तरफ लेट से आपकी पोजीशन साइज 2 परसेंट है किसी स्टॉक में और दूसरे स्टॉक में आपकी पोजीशन साइज 20 परसेंट है तो ये स्टॉक जब डबल होगा आपका तब भी आपका पोर्टफोलियो टू मूव करेगा और वहां पर इस स्टॉक को सिर्फ ट्वेंटी ही मूव होना है तो भी आपका पोर्टफोलियो 10 परसेंट ही मूव होना है तो भी आपका पोर्टफोलियो 2 परसेंट ही मूव करेगा आप समझे ये बेसिक मैथमेटिक्स है सो so, मेरे लिए क्या चीज आसान है कि मेरे लिए 2x वाले स्टॉक्स ढूंढना या ऐसे स्टॉक्स ढूंढना जो 20 30 परसेंट का मूव दे दें तो मेरा सेम कंपाउंडिंग इफेक्ट आता है पोर्टफोलियो लेवल पर अब यहां पर बात ये होती है कि सो दैट इज वाई आई एम लुकिंग फॉर कॉन्टिन्यूएशन बायस बिकॉज बेस बहुत लंबा देखिए जितना बड़ा बेस होगा अप ट्रेंड में उतना बड़ा मूव आता है अब और बेस में आप देखें कि वॉल्यूम स्पाइक्स दिखेंगे यहां पर ये जो आपको प्राइस ऊपर जाता दिख रहा है बहुत हाई वॉल्यूम के साथ दैट मीन्स इंस्टीट्यूशन आर इंटरेस्टेड है सो इस केस में ऑलरेडी मुझे पता है कि दैट देर इज सम सीरियस बाइंग गोइंग ऑन तो कॉन्टिन्यूएशन बाय पे अब मेरा स्टॉप लॉस भी टेक्निकली चार्ट के हिसाब से बेस लो पर आता है जो कि 5 परसेंट डीप है सो आई कैन बिल्ड ऑन 20 परसेंट पोजिशन साइज और अगर 20 परसेंट लाइक आई एम होल्डिंग दिस सो डिस्क्लेमर लाइक दैट्स नॉट अ बाय सेल रिकमेंडेशन अगर 20 परसेंट का पोजिशन साइज मुझे सिर्फ 20 परसेंट का मूव देता है तो माई पोर्टफोलियो मूव बाय फोर सो उसके लिए मुझे पांच परसेंट साइज पर एक डबलर नहीं चाहिए मुझे 2x वाला स्टॉक नहीं चाहिए मेरा वही पर्पस एक स्मॉल मूव से सॉल्व हो सकता है सो दैट्स द होल आइडिया ऑफ व्हेन आई से यू कैन कंपाउंड इन अ लेसर टाइम इफ योर एंट्रीज आर राइट एंड इफ योर स्टॉक सिलेक्शन इज राइट तो फॉर एग्जांपल आप आप यहां पर देखेंगे तो स्टॉप लॉस के ऊपर एक तो बहुत क्वेरीज रहती है वेयर टू प्लेस इट सो इसमें दो स्कूल चलते हैं वन स्कूल इज योर मार्क मिनरवीनी स्कूल जो उस स्कूल के लोग ये बोलते हैं कि जनरली हमारा बेस लो स्टॉप लॉस रहता है जो ये कंसोलिडेशन हुई है आपकी ये एक फाइव परसेंट की जो कंसोलिडेशन है इसके बेस लो पर आप स्टॉप लगा दीजिए तो स्टॉक बीच में हो सकता है कि आपके बाय रेंज से नीचे भी आए लेकिन रिकवर कर सकता है तो आपका ये स्टॉप बचा रहेगा नाउ दैट्स योर मार्क मिनरवीनी स्कूल 
एंड वन स्कूल इज योर डैन जैंगर स्कूल जिनसे मैं जिनका लाइक आई लर्न अ लॉट फ्रॉम हिम सो हिस स्कूल से इज दैट जिस दिन आपकी एंट्री हुई है उसी डे का लो या उसके प्रीवियस डे का लो आप स्टॉप लॉस लगाएं देखिए मेरे एक्सपीरियंस में चार्ट के हिसाब से बेस लो इज द प्रिसाइज स्टॉप लॉस इसके ऊपर जो आप स्टॉप लॉस लगा रहे हैं दैट इज योर अग्रेसिव स्टाइल ऑफ ट्रेडिंग वो बहुत अग्रेसिव हो जाता है फिर बिकॉज आप समझ रहे हैं कि आपकी एंट्री जहां पर है वहां से आपका स्टॉप ही टू थ्री परसेंट है तो आपको पोजीशन साइज अलाउड तो बहुत ज्यादा बड़ी है लेकिन आप फिफ्टीन परसेंट पोजिशन साइज भी अगर लेते हैं तो भी आपकी कैपिटल जीरो पॉइंट फाइव परसेंट से कम है रिस्क पर अगर वो स्टॉक चला तो आपका पैसा बड़ा बनेगा कम टाइम में एंड इफ इट डजेंट मूव यू विल लूज वेरी लेस अमाउंट बट यू विल एंड अप टेकिंग अ लॉट ऑफ ट्रेड्स सो दैट्स वाई बेस लो इज द स्टॉप हेयर सो दैट्स वट आई एम ट्राइंग टू एक्सप्लेन थ्रू कॉन्टिन्यूएशन बाइस सो जैसे फॉर एग्जाम्पल दिस इज द चार्ट ऑफ आर एस सी एल गेयर टेक नाउ दैट्स अ रिवर्सल बाय बिकॉज स्टॉक वॉज इन अ डाउन ट्रेंड इट फॉर्म हायर लो ऑन वेरी गुड वॉल्यूम एंड देन दीज ऑल आर कॉन्टिन्यूएशन बाय स्टॉक ऊपर गया देन इट फॉर्म द बेस हेयर and this is a weekly chart so it's roughly around 2 2 and a half month time and then again it broke out from this range so that's a continuation buy another example is this so a stock will offer you multiple continuation buys in an uptrend so that's for example is in a continuation buy indigo abhi aap ab aaj ka chart dekhenge it is still like in a very tight range so that's a continuation buy yahan probability of winning aapki zyada hoti hai so these are all examples of continuation bias so for example uh, i entered this chart like quick heel for example now if you will see the stock is already in an uptrend right and what happened after that it went to even if i'll open the weekly chart i'll hide all the drawings so you you can see here now this stock was already in an uptrend now what happened it started forming a base so you have to wait for the right side entry point now what i was looking as it, at the chart is that ki right side mein ye jo bilkul hi consolidation hai that just around 8 or 9% deep here so if i am if it just gets out from this zone here now okay i have this done so let's say that it gets out from this zone so jo final stage par what i am looking for in a chart is that the stock should tighten up and volume should dry up that means see basically law of supply demand ka hi game hai agar volume dry up ho gayi means supply nahi aa rahi hai market mein so thode se buying force pe hi stock will blast off so Absolutely. what will happen is that so what will happen here is that uh, once it breaches the level i have my alert set already if it breaches the level i take my position and even if i place the stop at this consolidation low here so that's roughly for you almost around 7 to 8% that allows me now 8% hai agar stop loss to ab aap jaldi se calculation kar sakte hain ki 100 divided by 8 which means 12 and a half percent ka position size isme ban sakta hai and if you are not comfortable you can take half position not comfortable i mean is that sometimes market choppy hai ya market weak ho rahi hai so you think that i just want to test out the trade so in that case aap 1% risk na leke 0.5% risk bhi us case mein le sakte hain so that agar wo stock wapas aata hai aur aapka stop hit hota hai to in that case also you lose very less amount so that's the whole idea of uh, taking least risk entries and compounding in a आई मीन इन अ शॉर्टर टाइम फ्रेम फॉर एग्जाम्पल अभी ये आपको लगेगा ये चार्ट हिंड साइट में है सो दीज वर ऑल माई वॉच लिस्ट फॉर टूडे सो इमामी वॉज इन माई वॉच लिस्ट फॉर एग्जाम्पल नाउ आई एम कॉन्स्टेंटली ऑब्जर्विंग दिस चार्ट सो इफ यूल सी इट हैज ऑल द इनग्रेडियंट्स सो आप ट्रेंड में है प्लस आप देखेंगे पहले स्टॉक अगर मैं इसका एक लॉन्गर टाइम फ्रेम आपको चार्ट दिखाऊं सो दिस स्टॉक वाज इन साइडवेज एंड देन वेंट डाउन साइड एंड अप साइड एंड देन वेरी चॉपी चार्ट बेसिकली और बहुत ही uh, सालों के बाद ये स्टॉक वापस से बाहर आया है एक रेंज से ऑलमोस्ट मैं बोलूँ अगर 2015 से लेकर के इस स्टॉक ने कुछ नहीं किया एंड देन टू में ये इस कॉन्सॉलिडेशन से बाहर आया एंड देन इफ यू सी हेयर इट्स कॉन्स्टेंटली फॉर्मिंग हायर हाइज एंड हायर लोज so it is in an uptrend plus it is relatively very strong chart so now it is consolidating on the right hand side and plus if you will see yahan par multiple time stock higher lows bana raha hai 
एंड योर फाइनल आपका जो कंसोलिडेशन है दैट इज रफली अराउंड सेवन परसेंट डीप सो अगर ये स्टॉक यहां से थोड़ा भी कंसोलिडेट करके मुझे एंट्री देता है तो आई कैन बिल्ड अ गुड पोजीशन साइज ऑन अ वेरी स्मॉल रिस्क सो अब स्टॉप लॉस विल बी लाइक दिस लो हेयर इन दिस केस फॉर एग्जाम्पल आई वॉज ट्रैकिंग मल्टीपल चार्ट जैसे तेजस नेटवर्क वॉज ऑन माई रेडार सो दैट ब्लैक क्लॉक यू सी is my alert so i set my alerts on uh, trading view so you'll see here now tejas i have set up a price alert for it so that what happens now this stock was in an uptrend and then it went into a correction after that correction it came back up above all these moving averages aap pure scenario mein dekhenge i am not trading any chart that is in a downtrend uh, to yahan par 200 ma sloping up hai the stock is already in an uptrend now on the right hand side it starts consolidating so that's why it is on very high priority list of mine so if you will see here uh, even though if you'll roughly calculate this size that's roughly around 6 and a half percent so i can build on a position size of 16% so 16% pe agar main isme entry leta hu let's say 10% position size se bhi to bhi mera risk 0.6% hi aayega और अगर वो 10% की पोजीशन साइज मान लीजिए कि मुझे 6% के रिस्क पर लेट से 30% का ही मूव देती है तो जो कि मेरा 5 आर ट्रेड हुआ फॉर एग्जांपल 5 आर मींस मैंने अगर 6% का रिस्क लिया तो मुझे रिवॉर्ड उसका 5 टाइम्स मिला तो अगर ये 10% की पोजीशन साइज 30% का मूव देती है तो मेरा पूरा पोर्टफोलियो थ्री मूव करता है और अगर मैं ऐसा अपना पोर्टफोलियो साल में 15, 20 टाइम्स भी मूव कर दूं, सो दैट हैज अ वेरी गुड कंपाउंडिंग इफेक्ट ऑन द पोर्टफोलियो लेवल सो दैट इज व्हाई आई एम नॉट लुकिंग फॉर मल्टी बैगर्स आई एम लुकिंग फॉर दो स्टॉक्स दैट ऑफर मी वेरी लेस रिस्क बट अ हाई रिवॉर्ड सो इन दैट केस आई माई प्रिसीजन प्रिसाइज एंट्री पॉइंट विल वर्क इन माई फेवर सो नाउ हेयर the whole idea comes to your stock selection process and then the right entry points so i have multiple examples like this so see this is called as asymmetric leverage so a lot of people go to futures and options for leverage i mean uh, that's also one area to take leverage but here also in cash market you can do the same thing by taking very less risk now that's the concept of asymmetric leverage in life also you are taking those decisions where your risk is calculated and your reward becomes 5 times to 10 times of your risk taken so now that concept of asymmetric leverage was given by sir larry height in his book the rule beating the market so the rule if you will read that book he has explained beautifully about taking that asymmetric leverage so these are the bets we are taking over here so i have all these like multiple example for example now today the market was weak otherwise i was constantly tracking electro steel casting for this consolidation so if you just look at this right side consolidation that roughly 8% deep so in that case if that stock breaches this level i i i, I was constantly looking at it today so in fact there were multiple charts i am looking at today so if it breaches now the concept is still the same so that's what i am doing basically <coughs> so these are just my recent trades that i am giving as an example for example shri ram finance is one trade now here if you look at the stock is in an uptrend now i'm not saying that this is the perfect entry there were multiple entries before for example this was one entry here when it came out of a base now here the stock again corrected came up again corrected came up so mark minervini calls this at vcp right so sir in 1930s we had a lot of chart patterns in the book of richard shebaker so if anyone is interested to know the chart patterns they can go for the book by richard shebaker where he explained about ascending triangle descending triangle symmetrical triangle then we have in 1970s a book written by william jiller how charts can help you in the stock market and here he has explained about saucer pattern with handle which was later on uh, renamed as cup and handle pattern by william o'neil in 1980s and then mark minervini came in 2010 and he summarized everything into one pattern called as vcp so a lot of people ask me if vcp if it is vcp or if it is a cup and handle pattern basically the idea is same 
right so he mentioned in one of his interviews that all these ascending triangle cup and handle symmetrical triangle all these are vcps volatility contraction pattern so what it means is that as you go on the right hand side your volatility contracts so what happens this range this first range was roughly around 14% the second range was roughly around 7% and the third consolidation the final one is the 5% consolidation so i took an entry on this day when it came out of the base so as you can see here the volume was pretty high in the base so now here if i am placing my bet my stop loss becomes 5 5.5% deep i can take on a 20% position size and if that 20% position size moves roughly around 10 15% in my favor so there are now multiple ways to play out if you are having a let's say 20% size you took 5% risk so if a stock moves 15% and you sell one third of it then still you are left with roughly around 13 14% position size and you can still free roll your position with your original stop loss so that's the whole essence of Uh, least risk entries that I am trying to explain. For example, there are multiple charts now. Cummins I was tracking. Now REC Limited, for example, I was tracking here. Now today the market was uh, very weak, so a lot of stocks have come down on the right hand side. Otherwise, I am always waiting for these kind of setups. In fact, REC was one area where you'll see near 125. It had a very very long base breakout. So if you'll see here now, this was a very beautiful chart. the stock was already in an uptrend and then it went sideways it formed a very good long base so again and again i'll repeat the same thing these longer base breakouts will result in a larger magnitude of move so i can show you many many example for example fact the fertilizer company if you look at the weekly chart uh, this was a very very long base so after a long base it moved almost around now from here even if you were following 40 ma for an investor 750% i have multiple examples of this whenever there is a long base breakout i'll show you in fact on the monthly chart as well so this was a very very long base in arthi drugs so the stock did nothing for almost around 6 years and when it came out it moved 4x within 4 months so you have to look for these longer base breakouts so gabriel for example was one chart if you will see the stock almost did nothing for 2017 till 2023 6 7 years and when it came out 200 to 500 quickly so i have plenty of examples like this when the stock came out of a very very long base and in and then it just moved up 200 300 400 percent so hbl power was almost did nothing and when it came out it just shot up so you it 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 depends on you whether you want that longer move so in those longer moves you have to look for those weekly charts and if you uh, want like no i am happy with 20 30 40% kind of moves then you have to go on the daily chart and then you know you'll churn your capital and compound your money faster so there is nothing wrong in both the approaches one is your swing trading and one is your positional trading in positional trading we follow weekly charts and we keep on holding our stock till 40 ma or higher swing low so in positional trading if you will understand fundamental investing it is a very high margin business so margin is very high you will catch around 200 300% kind of moves but your churning will be very less right and your number of trades will be very less in swing trading is like a low margin business your margin is very less you will be hunting for 20 30% kind of moves and but your position size will be big enough so this process has advantage in position size and this process has advantage in bigger magnitude of move because for anyone holding that 20% position size for a bigger move becomes a bit of difficult uh, i mean it be, it becomes cumbersome process like no one can hold on for a much larger position without their emotions getting swings in between so that's why i'm saying now my i my forte is in now looking for these continuation buys i don't do positional trading because of a reason that sometimes a stock sleeps for a very long period of time in the middle so this weekly chart you will see here you will see it it you will ask me ye to 10 hi hafte hain but 10 10 weeks is roughly around 2 and a half month when your money is lying idle 
So if you will see HBL power here, it did nothing for 21 weeks, right? So if you will see here, now this is a period time span of roughly five months. So Panch Mahine investor can sit, but for a trader to sit for five months, it becomes very difficult. So that is why I'm saying like my forte is your that swing trading process wherein I can compound those moves faster. So BPCL for now Sriram Piston is one perfect example for you. Now this consolidation, if you look at first of all, you look at the bigger picture. The bigger picture is that the stock is in an uptrend already. <clears throat> now it was forming a very long base. Now on the right hand side, uh, if you just hide what happened here, why am I tracking it is because uh, so now if you look at the chart over here, this is a very long base. Now on the right hand side, this consolidation, the final one is just six and a half percent deep. So look at the volume structure in the base. Whenever the stock moves up, the volume is very high. Whenever the stock pulls back down here due to correction, the volume is very less. That means the selling is not serious. But is it ready to be bought? No, because the right hand side, our consolidation is not proper. Now, once you get this consolidation and the next day it breaches this level, I am interested over here. Now, whatever happened later on, it just as of now, it seems just like a squat. It squatted down. Now, that's where I explained to you one very important concept that your stop loss can be base low or you can say that no i entered on this day my stop loss will be day low now there are two different schools here so what happens is that if your stop loss is base low you will be saved of this squat and recovery but if your stop loss is day low you need to have re-entry strategies because often you will be pushed out of a stock and you need to have a re-entry tactic so you need to be ready to look at that stock and if it gives you entry again, you have to enter. So that's why I personally, for majority of my trades, follow base low as my stop loss because in this way, I can control my emotions well and I can, I, I'll, I'll not do over trading. Only in rare cases, I'm going with day low stops when I have made enough gains, market is very <coughs> healthy or I want to preserve my gains then only I usually go for day low otherwise in a choppy market base low is the stop that's what I'm following personally so these are all recent examples in front of you now OFS Oracle Financial I was tracking for the same reason same reason right so I have multiple examples for you now Indian Hotel the stock is already in an uptrend and then you have this consolidation. So a lot of people have query to me, like I met someone a few hours back. His query was whether I wait for this high breach or I can enter even here also at, at this consolidation. See, now uh, you have to take risk. You risk to take risk. So if you risk here, then you will make risk much more or more than that. Better hai ki aapko jahan par kam risk mil raha hai because yahan par aapka jab bhi volume dry up hota hai aur uske baad ek consolidation se stock bahar aata hai to aapko jab risk ki 5% ka mil raha hai that means you can have a 20% position size so aap alternatively bahut tarike se isko play out kar sakte hain you can buy maybe half position here and wait for this level to breach or you can, if you are aggressive, you can buy majority of the position here. If you are very conservative, aap thoda sa yahan lijiye, baad mein pyramid kariye usko. So there are multiple ways to play out. Now what happens, what I ideally do is that, now again saying, sir, now this is cup and handle kind of structure. But again, this has been popularized by Mark Minervini in his book called as Cheat Area. Now he calls it a Cheat Area, ki handle abhi bani raha hai, usme sub, uh, uh, consolidation a gaya. But technical analysis may as I told you before in any field that's a game of supply and demand so jab aapka consolidation ho raha hai bahut kam volume se is volume kam ka matlab hai ki market mein supply nahi a rahi hai shares ki aur stock thode se by force se hi upar nikal jayega so this area is called your pivotal point by Jesse Livermore in his book uh, how to trade in stocks बाद में इस एरिया के नाम बदलते गए और अलग-अलग ट्रेडर्स ने एंट्री टैक्टिक्स के बाद इन एरियास के नाम बदल दिए अदरवाइज द बेसिक कांसेप्ट वही है कि ये पिवट एरिया जब क्रॉस होता है तभी सारे ट्रेडर्स एंट्री ले रहे हैं नाउ जेसी लिवरमोर हैज अ वेरी ब्यूटीफुल कोट इन हिज बुक 
a far more money has been lost by traders in anticipating the entries so anticipation means ki aapne pivot bina cross hue hi pehle usko le liya so in that case you are taking some risk here because supply demand equilibrium mein hai means <coughs> it can be like there is distribution going on maybe stock selling chal rahi hai aur wo niche bhi aa sakta hai so you have to wait for the volume confirmation and you have to wait for the price confirmation to place your bet so that's why i said once in this slide we are always buying in the direction of the trend so uh, i i hope like you are getting i mean if there is any query i can answer here itself then absolutely because you are on fire okay and uh, from the starting till the end you have absolutely covered everything i'll just like to add one thing for the viewers here apart from rectangle uh, pattern jitne bhi patterns hamare paas aate hain they are essentially a uh, a triangle pattern actually theek hai so you can understand it something like uh, jab hum log apne classroom mein hote the jab hum log ball pen pakadte the that click wala ball pen you know what happened हम उसको क्या करते थे उसको दबाते थे और वो जब वहां से उछलता था तो ज्यादा उछलता था ऊपर को सो दिस वॉलिटिलिटी कॉन्ट्रेक्शन पैटर्न असेंडिंग ट्रायंगल्स दिस कंप्रेशन इज नथिंग बट रेक्टेंगल जहां पे प्राइस कंप्रेस हो रहा है स्प्रिंग की तरह और जब वो स्प्रिंग में से बाहर निकलता है ना इट बाउंस हाई सो या फ्रॉम स्टार्टिंग टिल एंड फ्रॉम ए टू जेड यू हैव एक्सप्लेन दैट थिंग ब्यूटिफुली कई ऐसे पॉइंट थे जहां पर I was like, no, this is something that you know I do, and then I said, no, this time pe, uh, the oracle is speaking. मुझे बीच में नहीं बोलना है. जी. Because PFC के अंदर uh, when you were speaking about it, somebody asked me on uh, in one of my sessions कि सर PFC का क्या करें? And that is exactly what I told them कि ये जो high बना रहा है यहाँ पे इसको यहाँ से बाहर निकलने दो. Once it is out, then you go and buy it. Not right now. Correct. So yeah, it absolutely makes sense. Hmm. uh so uh what happens usually is that sir uh, that's what i say like if i am getting a consolidation like this when see again if i go deep enough it will take hours so what happens is that the stock corrected after correction it came back up so one positive sign is reclamation of the moving average it has reclaimed that moving average on good volume decent volume then it pulled back a bit and again shot up on a very good volume now that's where what happens is that your risk is very less so what happens let's say you want to buy here all i am saying is that maybe you start a starter position over here so that even if it goes till here and it is not able to cross up this level you are still at multiples of your risk taken so your risk taken here is very very less 3% so i i'm sure this is roughly around 8 to 10% kind of move so you can then sell some portion of your position and then trail the remaining position till it goes but that tight area can occur very close to the high i'll show you one example now this tight area can occur like close to the high which is now this level or it can happen somewhere here at a much lower level so oh, yeah you are right that these all these chart patterns behave like coil for example but again now longer the pattern the larger will be the magnitude of the move so all these patterns have different names but the basic essence stay the same like this is symmetrical triangle now someone came in 1970s they termed it as no we'll call it a coil so coil is like it it's like a coil like you explained the ball pen and you press it and it jumps up much higher that's a coil so another area here is that now he called it a mark minervini uh, he he called it as vcp the volatility mm-hmm. contraction the basic essence is the same that it's a game of supply and demand so uh, yeah you are right but one thing i'll add is that you have to look for the longer base breakout so every yeah. move so every move if you will see here is that it everything starts from a long base after that whatever you are doing is those shorter term bases and in fact if you will see mcx also this is a very long base and before that if you will see this was a long base that it offered you if you miss this move you can play on these shorter bases but again you can play on but the move will start from that long base breakout i can share even plenty of charts with you musdoc was one example near 2800 so these were my entries so if you will see here 
it every time the move started from a long base then stock took a breather because it was i mean it moved up too quickly now again it formed a very very long base then again you got an entry around 2500 2600 level and it was it shot up till 6000 so every move will start from a longer base but again it depends you can get that consolidation much before the obvious high or you want to enter at the obvious high now that's what you have to figure out so for example senko for example you can get that buy here but if you are getting this sort of consolidation very close to that right side portion then i will prefer i personally prefer to take position here over this level because if the stock fails i am still at multiples of risk taken right i absolutely understand what you are saying because what you are trying to do is you are trying to take your consolidation uh, nearer to the average levels actually because uh, because the closer it is to the average level the lesser stop loss you are getting actually and correct and, and i think the uh, people who are watching this particular podcast i have said it again and again and that point has been beautifully summarized by you ki as a trader agar 2 mahine ke liye bhi stock jo hai wo sideways chala gaya hua hai it means your money money is idle you are not earning anything out of it so usse acha to usko fd mein dal do utne time ke liye because once the sideways movement has started you don't know how how long it can uh, it can last i have seen stocks which are in consolidation for the last 6 years i i mean uh, look at um nestle right now theek hai look at bajaj yeah. finance right now look at bajaj finserv right now bajaj finserv has any how broken out but bajaj finance in is in still that stance hdfc bank is still there So, Correct. जब एक कंसोलिडेशन स्टार्ट होती है वो कितनी भी लंबी जा सकती है और उतनी देर तक आपकी मनी आइडल पड़ी हुई है उस चीज के अंदर ट्रू करेक्ट सर करेक्ट सो या राइट सो दिस वन सो आई आई शेयर वन चार्ट व्हेन आई वाज इन चेक वन चेक वन मोर फॉर मी इंडिया सीमेंट्स या सो अल्ट्रा टेक आई थिंक इज टेकिंग ओवर करेक्ट सो दिस वाज इन अ वेरी लॉन्ग टर्म and then it started moving up correct so yeah this is very very tight but i think some sort of uh, transaction taking place like ultra tech cement is taking over of the company so uh, yeah beautiful chart one uh, similar chart was butterfly gandhi mati when it was being taken over by another company so there were some transactions going on so this chart you are referring to here yeah. so this was also some transaction going on because of acquisition Uh, area i i think i remember the news if if i'm wrong pardon me but there was something similar to that yeah so one chart like i'll show you of bpcl so this did nothing for years yeah yeah, yeah. so it did yeah. nothing for exactly. years and then when it came out of the base so it just blasted off so from like 240 to 360 immediately i mean in a, in in a few months so what happened here is that Uh, there are certain charts where the consolidation you never know you are right like you never know how long can it continue so again you have to decide whether you are an investor or a trader but for an investor also i recommend weekly charts not monthly charts because on monthly charts if a stock sleeps for let's say one year two year three year down the line you should have some time stop what i use is that personally time stop so if i am a trader and my stock is not moving for 14 15 days i will start trimming that position i will start selling half and i will shift to another name so if you look at here arthi drugs it moved up almost 4x i think if i correctly remember it was right uh, 5x approximately and after that for weeks and weeks it did nothing so it was a one year period of time span so the whole essence of compounding in minimal time is to be in stocks that are in an uptrend and after you see the consolidation period is going long now how do you decide that you have to follow one concept we have in technical analysis is time stop so for an investor let's say i mean there is no fixed rule you say okay 6 months now after 6 months probably you can trim half of the position and invest that money somewhere else in a winner in another winner so that's how time stop works in technical analysis for a trader it may be a shorter time for an investor it may be 4 uh, months or 6 months down the line because you never know as you summarize like hdfc bank kotak mahindra bank how long will they sleep you never know 
the better is to uh, hold on to your gains and don't give back to the market otherwise there are multiple examples like roku was one chart uh, we were trading before so uh, pre covid it moved up and if you will see it now it erased all the gains so there are multiple examples like that as well so uh, this is what like i was trying to explain you now these are all examples of continuation bias the stocks come up and then they consolidate on the right hand side for example indigo now these are the charts now another thing what i personally do is that uh, remember i told you like uh, let's say i have that uh, continuation buy and for example i took that entry and post that uh, i get a pullback a pullback means the stock retraced back and then it again move it again starts moving back up so this day it shows you red but when i bought it it was like blue uh, in color i mean it was moving up so pullback is one area it can pullback can be from a moving average as well or pullback can be just a retracement in a stock it spend some time and it moves up so again this is in bold buy we are bu we are buying always in the direction of the trend so that's called as uptrend upright pyramid the stock has already proven itself for an investor 10 to 40 weeks ema is used but for a trader 21 ema or 50 ema we generally use here the stock is in a mature uptrend now so these are all examples of pullback buys for an investor on a weekly chart right so there are multiple examples for an investor so if i'll show you like for example this is the two days chart so now let's say the stock is in a very healthy uptrend now it pulled back it pulled back multiple times it pulled back for almost around 3 4 5 6 days i'm not buying i'm buying when it moves back up uh, with good volume so all these days you will see here now volume is not very high so for pull back you have to be patient enough to wait for the price confirmation and the volume confirmation to mark your entry so this is one another good way to pyramid up in a name right so if you'll see here it pulled back a bit and then it moving up so again i am saying it can be till a moving average or it can not be till a moving average because a stock can be very very strong and it decides no i don't want to pull back near a moving average for example garware high tech was a chart for example so it pulled back a hair 21 em may caught up so what happened the stock see what i am trying to explain is that after this move everyone will think stock will fall no a stock can spend a lot of time drifting to the right hand side and moving average will catch up to the price so here you will say now this is a moving average kind of pullback from uh, 21 days ema so one thing that i am doing is that maybe i am pyramiding up a bit more position when it is moving up in the direction so what i do is that i select stocks based on relative strength i have my b list so in b list you will see there are roughly around 268 names not all of them are viable and then i will every day i will like click 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 and i will see now uh, which are the stronger charts that are immediately viable i will move them to a list so this was a list for today for example now bpcl shri ram piston now these are the kind of setup that i am trading for a, a least risk entry point yes sir. Uh, that's wonderful because most of the stock are matching my criteria <laughs> yeah <laughs> so this is for example now bsc i was tracking so this one simple line so this is the consolidation although uh, uh, the ideal entry for me was on thursday so if you will see here the stock uh, went down it corrected it came up then we have a gap which is unfilled and then again stock moved up so if you look at this right side consolidation there's just 5% 6% so these are the kind of setups i am looking for and obviously if my position size is big i am not holding more than 6 to 8 names max to max 9 or 10 names so only exception is when market is very choppy and i am testing out with smaller positions that that time i can have maybe uh, 10 or 12 6 and a half percent positions otherwise ideally i am holding 7 to 8 names maximum that's wonderful uh, himanshu i think i got the gist of it and so does the views also um, whenever the comments start pouring in on this video i'll uh, tag you there so you take over the comment section although i can answer them but i would like you to answer them so that uh, the queries are sorted 
it was a wonderful session thanks a lot for having it with me okay i'll uh, this was just a teaser i think we will have more sessions in the future also thanks a lot yes because this is like we have stock selection entry exit and position sizing so i summed up like position sizing and entry points because both are connected but what happens towards the exit side and the stock selection i mean how did i come to this name out of 2300 you have covered names? that also you have covered that also somewhere in this if somebody is keen enough to understand that thing i think the uh, you have covered it because when you said the volatility contraction pattern and the price in the upper right corner i think that gave away the entry also stock selection also <laughs> correct correct sir because a lot of people are interested in which scanner i run or what all you do to scan for the stocks like 2300 listed names so how do you come to 100 200 charts and then finally to 10 i so, think yeah, stocks yeah, yeah, you got the point scanner is not that big a thing जब एक बारी ब्रेकआउट हो जाता जब ब्रेकआउट हो जाता है उसके बाद उसको आ, नीचे जाते हुए देखना उस टाइम पे कुछ नहीं करना एंड एक्चुअली वो एंटीसिपेशन के अंदर स्टॉक को ना ट्रेड करना दैट इज अ बिगर थिंग दैट इज अ बिगर प्रॉब्लम करेक्ट करेक्ट सर चलो एनीवेज वी विल हैव दैट सेशन सम टाइम एल्स थैंक्स अ लॉट फॉर दिस सो थैंक यू वेरी मच सर फॉर हैविंग मी थैंक्स अ लॉट फॉर गिविंग मी द अपॉर्चुनिटी i hope it was, it was of any use yeah are it, it, it was it was wonderful i know people are going to love it because uh jab koi bolta hai na ki stock kaise select karte ho kya uske andar dekhte ho you know uh, i go sometimes on uh, economic times and i talk with a lot of people and 99% of the stocks they tell me main un stocks ko mana kar deta hu ki yaar isko buy mat karna <laughs> for example and they are wondering ki maine kyun mana kar diya so you have pretty much summed up everything ki main kyun mana kar deta hu ki nahi buy karta hu stock ha <laughs> true like up trend mein hi rahenge to galtiyan maaf ho jayengi shayad maaf ho jati hain uske yaar but down trend mein problem rahegi sir chalo thanks a lot okay thank you very much sir thanks